Today we're installing a Dormax enclosure designed for the Yamaha G29. Included with the kit are your lower rocker mounts, your front and rear posts, your doors, L brackets, rear mounting brackets, your door stop spacer, your handles, your door stops, hardware pack, thread locking adhesive, and your door headers. Also included is the back panel, the door skins, the front sleeves, the back sleeves, the extreme seal, self-tapping hardware, and hook and loop fasteners. Now let's get started. Our first step is to insert the small 1032nd lock nuts into the back side of your driver and passenger rocker mounts. Make sure all the lock nuts are centered and then secure with a piece of tape. Then you're going to put the fourth lock nut on the front side of your rocker mount and secure it with tape. I'm going to repeat this on the passenger side. Now we can mount our rocker bracket. Two things you want to look at here. The first is you'll notice the ridge up at the front of the side skirt. We've marked the inside here with tape for the video. You'll also see we've marked tape at the bottom side of the Yamaha lettering. So the bottom of our rocker plate will sit here on the top of the tape, which is the bottom of the lettering, and the front edge will sit along this ridge here at the front of the side skirt. Once you have it in place, secure it with some clamps. You'll notice on the back side of the rocker, it says driver side, it'll also say front. Obviously this driver side is on the back with the front towards the front of the cart. Now we're gonna attach the bracket to the rocker using C-clamps and our tape lines as a guide. Now we're gonna use a quarter inch drill bit and drill through the rocker at these three countersunk hole locations. Be sure to wear your safety glasses. Now we're gonna take the one and a quarter inch countersunk bolt and secure the bracket to the rocker panel in the three locations we just drilled. Now we're gonna install the L bracket at the strut rear bolt here. You'll notice that this bracket has two slotted holes. The larger of the slotted holes will go behind the bolt head. Once it's in place, tighten the hardware and then repeat on the other side. Moving to the rear strut, you're gonna remove the rear bolt of the rear strut and then attach the rear bracket to this location using the same hardware. The angle for this bracket should go to the back of the cart with the mounting tab to the outside of the cart. We're gonna repeat this on the other side. We're gonna install the header to the brackets that we just mounted to the struts with the stud pointed towards the inside of the cart. The back part of the header will go on top of the rear bracket mount. We're gonna use the inch and a quarter bolts and secure. We're gonna repeat this on the other side, but make sure that the header for the passenger side goes over the stud on the driver side header. Let's leave the hardware hand tightened for now. Moving to the rear driver side post, you'll notice this is the one that has the hinges. The hinges will go up and the slotted hole here will go to the back. We're gonna mount it at the rear hole with the inch and a quarter bolts. We're gonna repeat this on the passenger side. Now we're gonna attach the front post to the header using the inch and a quarter bolts. The front post has a slotted hole that goes towards the front and it does not have hinges. Again, we're gonna hand tighten this and repeat this on the other side. Now moving to the bottom side of the front post, we're gonna secure the post to the rocker using the one and a quarter inch bolts. If the slotted hole here does not line up in the rocker, simply go back up to the top strut, loosen up the L bracket, and raise it up and retighten. Now we're going to secure the rear post to the front slotted hole of the three rear holes that are located on the rocker. 
We're gonna repeat this on the other side. Now we're gonna put on our driver's side door. A few things to note on the door is that the hinges will be on the outside of the door, just like the rear post. You'll also see a bracket here with a vertical slot in it. This is for your door stop. It should be at the back corner. We're gonna repeat this on the other side. Now that our doors are in place, you wanna make sure that the reveal along the top and the front post are all the same. Once you're happy, tighten all of the loose hardware. Now that our frame is attached, we're gonna to move to the extreme seal and the enclosure installation. We're gonna take the extreme seal and lay it out flat on a table. You'll notice on the extreme seal, you have a bead on the top and an angled edge on the bottom. We're gonna take the soft side of our hook and loop fastener and on the back side of our extreme seal, we're gonna take the soft Velcro and run along the bottom the entire length of the seal. So if you lay the seal down flat on the table, peel off the sticker backing and run it along the bottom side of the seal. Once you get it started, run it the entire length of the seal. Once your Velcro is attached, you're going to cut two five and a quarter inch strips of the seal with the Velcro and set to the side. At this point, we should have two rough sided Velcros left over. We're going to take the smaller of the two rolls and starting right here at the back side of the door stop, we're going to run along the header across the back and back to the other side. Now we're going to take the remaining 11 foot roll of Velcro and attach it to the inside of the header running all the way around the cart. We're also going to stop at every nut and cut our Velcro and then start back on the opposite side just for a clean finish. With our last bit of Velcro, we're going to put a one inch strip here on the passenger and driver's side. Using one of the five and a quarter inch pieces of seal, we're going to stick it to the inside of the header here. I'm going to notch out around the bolt that holds on the door post. Slide it behind the header and secure. Now we're gonna run the rest of our seal around the inside until we get to the back bracket. You can either choose to go over the nuts or notch out the seal to clear. When you get to the back bracket here, you wanna cut the seal and then start again on the opposite bracket. We will not put any in the middle. And we'll continue back on the opposite side of the passenger bracket. We're now ready to attach our front panel to the struts and the front post using the zippers on the back side of the panel. To differentiate between the passenger and driver side panels, you'll notice that the point in the window goes towards the front of the cart. And of course the zippers are on the back side. Last thing you wanna do here is secure the Velcro at the top of the panel. We're gonna repeat this on the other side. 
Now we're going to attach our rear panels to the headers using the soft sided Velcro at the top. You'll also notice on the rear panels that there's cutouts for the hinges. We're going to repeat this on the other side. Now we're going to attach the back panel to the header using the soft Velcro that's on the top. You'll also notice on the bottom there's a Velcro strap. We're going to unhook that. You're going to feed the back panel in in front of the struts and the Velcro strap on the bottom will go behind the struts. You can now zip up the corners. And last, you want to reattach your strap across the bottom. You'll also notice the fastener is located at the top. This is if you want to roll up your vinyl to get better airflow through the cart. Now you're going to remove your door from the hinge and using the zipper on the back side of the rear panel, we're going to secure it to the rear post using our cutouts to go over the hinges. We're going to repeat this on the other side. With the door off, we're going to attach the panel to the door. This may be easier for you to do on a table, but we're going to do it standing up for video purposes. So remember, the hinges go to the outside, and the panels are marked driver and passenger. So with the outside facing me, you'll notice that the Velcro goes towards the inside of the cart. Now we're going to pull all the Velcro apart and wrap the door. With the top Velcro loose, you're going to slide it over the top of the door and work each side around the door frame. On the bottom of the door, you'll notice that the Velcro has a sticky side here. You want to peel this off and run it down the bottom side of the frame here. Now we're going to attach our final side. You'll notice the two zippers located on the inside of the door. This is to give you a window. Now that our panel's on, we're going to reattach our door to the hinges. We're going to repeat this on the other side. Next, we're going to put our doorknobs on. What you want to do here is take the thread locking adhesive and feed it onto the threaded end of the knob. And then using the two black spacers, you're going to feed the threaded end through the door and tighten it on the back side. Once you have it fully tightened, do a half turn on the back side so that it'll move. We're going to repeat this on the passenger side. We're going to take the 3 quarter inch countersunk screws and attach the middle door stop to the rocker here. Now we're going to open our door and on the back side nearest the hinge we're going to undo the velcro here to expose the slotted hole. The slotted hole here is where our female knob will go on the back side. What we're going to do is take a razor knife and make a small incision big enough for our small countersunk bolt. So now that we have our hole in place, you're going to fit your screw into the female stop, feed it through the canvas, and tighten with the nut on the back side. Now when you shut your door, the female stop should catch in the male stop. If it doesn't, simply loosen the nut and readjust. We're going to repeat this on the other side. Now you're going to take the button cap screws that are included with the kit, and everywhere that you have a button, you're going to make a mark on the body and screw these screws in so that you can snap the bottom of the enclosure. You want to pull the fabric tight. We're going to repeat this process on all the buttons. Now that we have our enclosure on, the last thing we're going to do is install our windshield. What you're going to do is look for the location of the pre-drilled hole in the OEM strut here. Using a razor knife, make a very small X at this location on the front and back side of the strut. Then you're going to insert your hardware for your windshield if you have it. We'll repeat this process on the other side. 
Now you're going to place your windshield on the front struts. Now when you flip your windshield up, the clips will go in the holes of the front panels. You're now finished installing your red dot door max enclosure designed for the Yamaha G29.